Sean from Ace Appliance in Toledo, Ohio. Welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by ApplianceVideo.com. Right, the tools you'll need to complete this repair are some side cutters, a flathead screwdriver, and a number two Phillips which I've incorporated with my drill. All right, we have a uh, Samsung French door uh, bottom mount uh, refrigerator. Complaint is that it's uh, leaking. Um, We've uh, discovered, we took all the food out in the uh, drawers for the crisper, we'll open it up. And um, we noticed down here underneath our bottom crisper drawer, or pantry drawer, there's ice. And if we were to look along the back wall, we can see where the water's been dripping out of the drain from the drain being clogged. Um, just to make sure it's not uh, shutting off the defrost cycle too soon, we're going to replace the defrost sensor, um, which could, uh, that could also help with the, uh, the water not going through the drain properly. So. We're going to take it all apart. We have to remove our shelves, remove that back panel, replace our drain sensor, and then clear our drain out. So I'm going to start by removing all the shelving. It's just going to lift up and come out. And I want to make sure when I set this down, I set it, I uh, just want to lay it on the floor so that way it doesn't slip off a countertop and, uh, you know, break. Because they are, they are glass shelves. as we need to go now we can see that whole back we'll call it like a damper assembly or where the whole we can see the bottom of this this whole piece has to come out now there's some screws in here we have one two three there's one hidden behind here so I'm gonna have to use a flathead screwdriver to expose uh, and here we got a good good view of where that water has been leaking out instead of going down the drain like it should so we're gonna go ahead and pop this little cover off We'll expose our fourth screw and we're just going to remove all four screws. And now we'll come with the, uh, the fun part, trying to remove this panel. It's all plastic and styrofoam. So sometimes it doesn't like to cooperate very well. So we're just going to grab it and try to pull it out. All right, so we kind of got it free. Like I said, we just want to be kind of gentle because it is a lot of styrofoam and plastic. We have wires up here at the top left that are connected by harnesses that uh, we're going to have to disconnect. Okay, so they're all only fit one way so I'm gonna just unfortunately they're short wires so we don't get a good uh, view of what's going on so we'll disconnect our harness here and then we can pull our panel out and set this to the side so we got our drain uh, any ice and debris I've already removed so now I'm just gonna take my turkey baster and I want to make sure that the drain is completely closed or open I just filled it with some hot water just gonna put it down into the drain and I'm almost going to act like a, uh, a plunger in a toilet with the water in there and the uh, turkey baster going in and out until it goes out all the way, which it just did just now. So I'm just going to slowly pour it and try not to make a big mess. And um, I can hear the water draining under the refrigerator right now. That's not backing up on me. Alright, so we're good with that there. We're going to go ahead then and uh, just clean up any of the extra water areas and then we have to replace our sensor which is up in the top. So now we're going to replace our sensor. Over here on the left is where it plugs in. Uh, you just squeeze this little metal cover to get to it to access it. And then we can see our harness in here. The yellow wires for our sensor. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it and get it out so that way we can isolate the yellow one that's got this little clip to hold them all together so one doesn't back out. So we have that unplugged. I have to cut my zip ties that are holding this together. Be careful not to cut any additional wires. One. Two. 
two and three. So now we have access to our sensor. I'm going to pop it out of the little bracket that's in place, that holds it in place here. Or the bracket will come off and then we will remove it. So now we have this here. Our sensor will just kind of pop out just like that. Now we have to disconnect this from the other wiring harnesses. It's held in place by this red clip. So I'm going to take my red or my flathead screwdriver. Whoop. Pop off that red clip. Which then will allow us, hopefully, to remove our sensor completely like we do here. All right, so we're going to take our sensor, put it in position, clip it into position like that. That way all the wires are together. Our clip that had our sensor in it, we're going to go ahead and put that back in. Snaps into place. That way we can now mount that back on our evaporator where it was. I'm just going to press that in just like that. I'm going to plug in all of our wiring. It's all keyed. It only fit one way. So it's all plugged in there. And then I'm just going to, with some zip ties, reattach this, uh, these wires here like they were. So I have my zip ties here. All right, and then I'm going to get the extra from each zip tie off so it doesn't have a chance to get in the way of our fan motor. Now with that done, I can go ahead and put our back panel back on. Uh, we have to put our wire cover back on, and it's just going to, once you line it up, it'll push right into place, just like that. Now we have that. We have to hook up our two wiring harnesses here that we had removed earlier. They're both keyed. You can't get them wrong. So we're going to start with that. Then we'll start with the bottom and then push our back panel back in place. So. All right, got our harnesses in. I'm gonna start with the bottom and I'm just gonna push the rest of this panel into place until it all snaps in. Looks like we're all the way in, then we can take our screwdriver. Oh, no, I'm missing a little bit over here. So, all right, so we have our back panel on, so we're going to go ahead and start with our screws. I start at the bottom. Oops. My, my shelving bracket that fell out. And put in the two screws that go in place there. cosmetic cover up here at the top and 
then we can go ahead and start putting our shelving back in. All right, so we're gonna install our shelving. Thank you for watching another quality in-home diagnostic video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.